Hi guys, my name is Rasekreti Bolla. I'm having 10 years of experience into the SQL Server DBA development performance tuning automation, and I'm the corporate trainer. Yes, okay. Today we are talking about the suppose if your client or manager ask you, or suppose if anybody complains on the SQL Server, uh, SQL Server is slow. Okay, just do below things, guys. Automatically. Uh, your server drastically will be improved. Okay, so what are the things you need to concentrate? The concentrate is yeah, missing indexes, unused indexes, duplicate indexes. Okay, even suppose if any uh, queries are taking high CPU, high memory, high I/O, or long running queries, all those related queries, uh, suggestions and uh, recommendations and uh, will be covered in this missing indexes and unused indexes and duplicate indexes. That means if we add or drop these indexes, automatically a SQL Server will be improved. Okay, see guys. So first of all, what is missing index? Okay, so missing index is a, okay. When a SQL Server is processing a query, it will sometimes make a suggestion for an index that it believes will help you a query run faster. That means SQL Server, SQL Server engine, okay? So it is an intelligent process, intelligent uh, thinker, guys. Like, you know, uh, if you are running a query, SQL Server thinks that, suppose you, if we have an index on this query, then uh, this query would improve that and all, it suggests SQL Server itself, okay? That index, we call it as a missing index, guys, okay? If we can create those missing indexes, automatically queries will get improved. Okay, so yeah, this is the query, guys. Just to open this query, copy this query, and paste here. Okay, I'm just checking uh, missing indexes on Adventure Works, guys. See, guys, so you have four missing indexes. Like this, if you run this query, okay. Uh, maybe according to your environment, according to your database performance, it will give uh, missing indexes information. Okay, so guys, top ten, choose the top ten for each each table. Okay, for one table, do not create multiple indexes, guys. Okay, for one table, one index. Choose like that, and top ten you can create the indexes. Okay, see guys, so missing indexes. Okay, if these indexes, if you can create, automatically queries will be improved. I mean, whatever the queries which are taking high CPU, high memory, high I/O, or long running queries, those queries will get improved if you have these top missing indexes. Okay, so see, guys, uh, order by average total user cost, average user impact, so user seeks and scans by descending order, guys. Choose already ordered by guys. So top 10, you can choose and you can apply top 10 missing indexes. Okay, yeah, next guys. Once you fix the missing indexes, next you need to concentrate on the unused indexes. Okay, what is unused indexes means? Suppose you have your indexes, you have indexes on a table, but those indexes are not useful for queries. Those indexes, are not used by any queries and all. So you are unnecessarily maintaining those indexes. It's unnecessarily space waste and all. Okay, yeah. So those indexes you can drop guys. Okay. Just to open this uh, unused indexes query. Just copy this query and run this query. See guys, no unused indexes, guys, because my uh, whatever the indexes are there, all are using, okay? Suppose if I want to show you, uh, suppose, guys, just to comment it and run it. Okay. Unused indexes, it will show like this. 
Okay, it will show unused indexes. It will show like this. Okay, these indexes you have to draw. But guys, you need to keep this way plus. Okay, see guys here, user seeks, user scans, user lookups. If all are, if you add all are zero, then those indexes only you need to draw. Okay, the output it will show like this, guys. Okay, the output it will show like this. Under top ten unused indexes, you can draw. Okay, you need to do these things for every every month. You need to do this kind of, uh, um, yeah, it, this kind of things you need to do every month, guys. Okay, so just uncomment and run it. Okay, there is no unused indexes, guys. So yeah, you can ignore this one. Next, duplicate indexes. Okay, duplicate indexes also, guys. Okay. If you have any duplicate, you are unnecessarily maintaining the duplicate indexes because if you have more indexes also, it negatively impacts the performance of the SQL server. Because, you know, suppose, see, suppose a table, it takes 10 seconds for inserting a rows with no index. Okay. Suppose if you, if you add an index, okay, if same rows, if you can insert, that will take 20 seconds because you added your index. Okay, after inserting the data, index also need to be updated, guys. That's why. So, if you add indexes, means that slows down the DML query seller. Okay, better, guys, do not create more than five indexes on a table. If you create more than five indexes, you can add, but DML queries will slow down. Okay, do not create more than five indexes. Okay, and in the joins also, guys. So in OLTP, right? OLTP databases means, so normalized tables and that. Okay, normalized tables. So you have to join, or if you want to see some report, you have to join the tables, but do not use more than five joins, guys. Okay, if you have more than five joins, create a temporary table. Okay, just um, small uh, three joins, you can insert the data into temporary table. Other three joins, you can insert into the temporary table. So these two temporary tables, again, you can join and you can show the data, okay? Use temporary tables, guys. Huh? If more than five joins, so it slows, it slows down the execution of the queries, okay? So what is the another advantage is uh, to create a temporary table, okay? If you use temporary table, you can also add a cluster. You can also add indexes on temporary table. That is one more advantage, okay? Yeah, so, <clears throat> So guys, uh, most of the developers, uh, they use it to create table variables, guys, instead of temporary tables, okay? I recommend you should not use table variables at, at all, guys. You should not use, okay? Because temporary table will maintain the statistics, but not table variable. Suppose uh, if you insert 100 rows also in, a, in table variable, SQL server thinks that it only containing one row, okay? Always create temporary tables, guys. Do not use table variables. Okay? Yeah. And also, guys, uh, make sure, make sure every table should have the cluster index. Why? Suppose if you do not have any indexes, at least it will use the cluster index. Okay? If you do not have any index, at least it will use the cluster index. Even though if you have the cluster index, if you do not have, table will scan. Table scan will happen. Row ID lookup roid lookup will happen, okay? That, uh, I mean, it, it will eat up all the CPU and all the memory, okay? So make sure, guys, you should maintain one cluster index. I mean, you should maintain cluster index for each table, okay? Yeah. And coming to these guys, duplicate index means, yeah, just to open this one. Just copy. This is the query, guys, exact duplicates, okay? You don't need to maintain. Don't maintain any duplicate indexes. See, guys, if you run this one, it will give the duplicate indexes. Okay, so these two are exactly duplicate. Okay, these two are exactly duplicate. You can drop one of the index. Okay, yeah, this way you can improve the performance of the queries, guys. Okay, obviously, if you tune the queries. Obviously, the SQL server performance will be improved. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching.